Eric Horn here with Brett Dawson after the Thunder's 119-117 loss to the Orlando Magic in the in the Serge Ibaka return game, and, and Serge Ibaka turned it out. I mean, the Thunder lose their third straight game, and it was at the hands of Ibaka, who hit a game-winning shot uh, over Steven Adams with .4 to go. Also had 31 points, a career high. Career high. Career high, and he blocked four shots. Remember Doc Rivers saying on Friday that he doesn't really block shots anymore? Sorry, Doc. He still blocks shots. He still blocks shots. Uh, he got Stephen Adams once, and he got, I mean, I actually got him twice in one possession. Uh, he had another possession where he had two blocks on two shots. Uh, Serge was phenomenal tonight. He had great energy. Uh, at times, that was lacking for him last year, with, in his last year with the Thunder, but he was all over the place tonight. I mean, scoring in a variety of ways from the three point range, the mid range, uh, hook shots on the break. Uh, Serge was tremendous. Uh, another triple-double for Russell Westbrook tonight in a losing effort. He had 41 points, 16 assists, 12 boards, and uh, he almost got him through it again uh, late. Uh, he connected a little bit with Joffrey Laverne. Welcome to the game, Joffrey. Joffrey Laverne. We had a weird stretch of the game where Joffrey Laverne and Alfred Payton were like trading three-point shots. Uh, Alfred Payton had made four coming into the game, I think, this year. Yeah. Uh, Joffrey is Joffrey is a guy who has three-point range. We know he can make them. We watch him do it in practice, um, but we didn't expect him to make three and a quarter. You mentioned energy, uh, yeah. and the Thunder did not have it early. You mentioned Serge Ibaka having it. I think his rubbed off on the Magic. I think the Magic mm -hmm. really wanted to play well for him. Seemed to me, seemed to me that that got everybody excited. It did not seem to get the Thunder excited. They that was. For the one, I think the one thing you could say consistently about them, whether they've had some ups and downs offensively, some defensive breakdowns here and there, energy has been pretty consistent for them. Effort, uh, engagement, I don't think you've been able to question those things all season. And yet, I think tonight was a time when it legitimately was a concern and it legitimately was a criticism. Yeah, flat flat performance from the Thunder. They scored 13 points in the in the first quarter. Uh, they started 0 for 10 from 3 until uh, Andre Robertson hit a 3. Uh, and then uh, Robertson had a really good game. Uh, he, he had about 14 points. Uh, four blocks, and uh, when the, the Thunder decided to make that switch and put him on Peyton mm -hmm. uh, instead of Russell Westbrook, who was giving up buckets uh, at the rim on Peyton, uh, it really started to change the complexion of the game defensively for the Thunder, and they kind of woke up and started to get back into the game. Uh, Thunder goes on the road now uh, for the second night of a back-to-back -back against Detroit. Uh, no Reggie Jackson because Reggie Jackson has knee tendonitis. He hasn't played all season, so that kind of puts a, a damper on this on this back-to-back -back matchup. But uh, this is a game that the Thunder should be able to go into Detroit and win, and they probably should win considering they've dropped three straight at home. Yeah, the way reunions are going, it might not be so bad for them that Reggie Jackson's not yeah. playing. He might. Who knows what he might do in that game if he, if he was. Um, but yeah, it, this is going to be a tough game. It's going to be an interesting test. Detroit's an up and down team, but you would think they'd have some more energy. You think they'd be fired up coming off this? But that's a tough ask to say. Uh, not only were you flat on it, you had to come from way down, yeah. 21 down, and they did. They came all the way back. They got a lead. I think that expends a lot of energy that they didn't show at the beginning. They were really energetic late, spent a lot of energy to get back in the game, and now you ask them to come back and play 24 hours later. That's going to be a tough tough thing to do. All right, here's some post-game video from Billy Donovan, Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka, Man of the Night, and more. It was pretty emotional, you know, just to, got, to get back here. And so I started waking up this morning and, uh, you know, all my friends were texting me. My teammates, they was, you know, making joke of me, you know, and it was really intense, intense day, but, you know, thank God for everything tonight. What did it mean to get the ovation from the crowd? Oh, it feels good, it feels good. It feels, you know, it show like people, People still love me, you know, and I respect them and appreciate them a lot. So did your first time back here, team you played for those seven years, yeah. career high in points, game winning shot, I mean, is that almost like a Hollywood script or a movie or something? No, you know, to me, the most important is not about numbers. And just the fact to be back here, you know, and what I saw to, what I saw uh, after, you know, they call my name, the fans, the way they scream. And, uh, and uh, that's, to me, is most important just to, score those points in the game. And it's important for me, for my team too, you know, not be, to me it's not very personal because we just lost three games in a row and come back here to to get to not win is big for us. Did you want to take the last shot? Uh, you know, I, I was ready. I was ready. I was ready and coach called my name, so I was ready. I walk, I walk on, on my shot every nine, every summer, so I was just ready to, to you know, to make play. When's the last time you hit a game winner? Do you remember? Uh, game winner like this, you know, a couple of game, couple of games ago. I got <laughs> Philly. in Philly. Oh, yeah. yeah, in Philly. Yeah, this is the second time this year, so, yeah. How much did those two blocks of Adams, his dunk attempts, 
yeah. get you going. Yeah, he really got me going. He really got me going because you know I know uh, Steve is a big, is big, big guy out there. You know, just going up, up against him, getting to block and roll, and really get me going. So, so there's a sense of satisfaction uh, after being traded from here to come back and perform the way you did in front of the Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. It feels good, you know. But in everything for me to the win, uh, win tonight, I think it was the portal for my team more than me because, like I say, we just lost three games, you know. So I want Detroit to be out there and play to help my team to get to the win tonight, and we did. Well, just I mean, I think going back to when, when we uh, spoke pregame, um, you know, one of my concerns was just us defensively, um, and I think I mentioned about you know us. You know, getting, I, I feel like shots in good areas of the floor. Um, first quarter was a struggle for us on offense, no question. We missed a lot of shots, but I think the reality is you look at the stat sheet, the next three quarters, we scored 103 or 104 points, whatever it was. Um, so, like, we're going to have that sometimes, droughts, but I think the biggest thing for us is we've got to develop a, you know, a defensive identity to, to that can be consistent and maintained. Um, you know, I mentioned before, I think our numbers look really good, but I, you know, as you look deeper for me as a coach, you, you see certain things that you get concerned about. And I give our guys a lot of credit um, getting down 21 points and fighting their way all the way back to cut it to 10. And obviously making some plays to take the lead and go back and forth. But when the game comes down the stretch like that, anything can happen with as talented as these guys are. And, you know, give. Give Orlando credit because I would not classify them a, a, a great three-point shooting team, but they really made some timely three-point shots tonight in, in big situations, and um, I thought they allowed them to really, really hang around. I thought Gordon's three, I thought the couple by Peyton were big, and then four days late was big, so they made some some, some big ones there late. Um, but I think it's an opportunity where, I don't know what we were shooting in the first half, but we moved ourselves all the way up to 51% for the game, and you know we, we can... Um, you know, if we're going to have some droughts. We, we, we got to stay with it. But you know, the biggest thing to me was just the defense. Um, you know, all the way around, and in particular, the points in the paint. I think tonight was like 52 or something. So we got a lot we need to work on and continue to build on. And um, these guys are all working. They're trying to give. They're giving good effort and really appreciate how hard they, they fought to get back in the game, as the, considering the way it started. Questions. Really, for whatever you guys have, have done well or not, it seemed like energy and effort have been there pretty much every game. Was that lacking some early tonight? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I would say that. I, I, I think you have to give Orlando credit. I thought they were very aggressive defensively and probably got us back on our heels a little bit. We talked about that today. I thought once our guys kind of figured out how they were guarding and where certain areas of the floor were open, and what decisions we needed to make. I thought we did a much, much better job attacking their defense. I think probably give Orlando credit rather than I felt like our guys, you know, didn't come out with, with great energy. I just thought Orlando played exceptionally well and probably had us on our heels a little bit and it may appear that way. Coach said that there are some defensive things as a group that this team can continue to work on heading into tomorrow. What stands out to you? Probably the um, deep paint points, bro. They're just all layups. Just kind of put them up, but. Yeah, that's what we got to work on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna we'll deal with it. But. Mm -hmm. What was it like competing against Serge, and how about his night? I mean, it was it was like normal. I mean, just plays for another team. It wasn't nothing much more of it. Um, but yeah, shot the ball well. Steven, what did you think of y'all's energy to start the game? You only had 13 points in that first quarter. Didn't look yeah. like you guys were really into the game to start. Can't, com can't comment for the rest of the team, but um, either, way, either way, it's just can't really come out like that, you know what I mean? Um, regardless of the situation. That's why it was, as I said, it was like good for us to actually fight back. But if we did that from the start, we would have came out on top on that. Russell Surge went for a uh, career high tonight. Did you notice any, you know, like extended energy or anything like that? And that he was good for him. Nice shots. Uh, okay, he got some open ones, easy ones early. Kind of got his confidence going. What was that like competing against him on a different team? This time? Uh, for me, it's normal. Uh, when I get, like I said, I get up, when I get off, I have no friends. Uh, Surge is off the floor. I talk to him, but on the floor, I don't. 
so. What was the energy like in that first quarter for y'all? Um, you only scored 13 points. Uh, is that a trick question? No, it's just a question. Well, obviously it was low. We only had 13 points, so. Russ, when you checked back in the fourth, I think you went on a 10 to 2 run as a group. What was your you know, mission? You got back in? Hey, we're playing too slow. Uh, the faster we play, the harder it is to guard us when the ball moving. Um, that's what I try to do. What's the key to keeping up that pace? Say it again. What's the key to keeping up that pace? Uh, you just got to constantly keep doing it. Uh, keep putting pressure on the other teams and make adjustments. What did you think of the way that y'all defended the three-pointer in the fourth quarter? I think they uh, they caught fire at the end of the quarter. I mean, the guys we weren't shooting were shooting them. Um, you know, Peyton, he hit two shots. He, sh he was coming in the night shooting 15% from three. So, I mean, they made some shots. But the guys we weren't shooting the threes were shooting them. Um, Gordon hit a three. Something we got to live with. You were really finding Joffrey for those threes in that fourth quarter. What did you think about the way he came in? And uh, he played well. Did a good job of spacing, shooting the basketball when it was open, um, and did a good job.